We introduce self-supervised single-view 3D reconstruction via semantic consistency. Given a connection of images in a specific category, we target at two tasks. The first is to learn a category-specific semantic template. The second is to learn instance-specific match reconstruction. Our supervision only includes the connection of images with their silhouettes. The motivation of our project is to interpret object shape as deformable mesh, so that each instance shape can be obtained by predicting vertex offsets with respect to a template or just a sphere. More importantly, no matter how the shape of each instance is deformed, a semantic part doesn't change. For instance, whatever a bird looks like, it always has a head, neck, back and belly, and the relative position of these four parts are the same across instances. We can use such property to help learn a mesh reconstruction model later. The proposed method includes an instance-specific reconstruction modular and a category-specific semantic template learning modular. That starts with the instance reconstruction modular. The input to this modular is a single view image, while the output includes an UV texture map, which is, is obtained by sampling the RGB image using a learned texture flow. Besides pixels, the learned texture flow can also map other labels such as part segmentations from the image space to the UV space. The reconstruction network also predicts a shape on top of a learned template, along with estimated camera pose. Because we only have 2D images and a silhouettes of supervision, so we use the soft rise riser to render the reconstructed meshes into images. We then calculate the IOU objective between rendered and ground to silhouettes and the perceptual loss between rendered and input images. That summarizes the instance specific reconstruction modular. Given a single view image, this modular reconstructs a textured mesh and a camera pose. This modular is trained using the silhouettes and the images as supervisions, along with the texture cycle consistency constraint and adversarial constraint introduced in the paper. Next, we will introduce how to learn a template by using the instance specific reconstruction modular. Here is an overview of how to learn the semantic template. The final output of this modular is a category level semantic template. To learn a template shape, we start from a sphere and update it every k epochs. Each time when we update the template, we first use the encoder to extract the features of all training samples and then feed the average feature to the decoder. The output of the decoder is used to update the current template to a new template. We perform the shape updating every key epochs and eventually get a template that captures general characteristics of this category. Besides the shape, we also target at assigning a semantic part label to each vertex or face on the template. So we start with the semantic part segmentations on 2D images and use the predicted texture flow to sample this semantic part predictions to obtain what we call a semantic UV map. We then average all semantic UV maps to get a canonical semantic UV map for the template. This UV map can be warped onto the learned template, as shown here. So we get a template that looks like a bird, and also semantic part labels assigned to each face and vertex. To summarize, our reconstruction network reconstruct a mesh with respect to the template learned by the semantic template modular, and the semantic template modular updates the template using the reconstruction network. So the two modulars progressively update each other during the training process. One challenge of learning a 3D reconstruction model in a self-supervised way is that there exist lots of local minima, for example, the reconstructed bird here looks reasonable when rendered under the predicted camera pose. However, if we examine closely by warping the canonical semantic UV map onto the reconstructed mesh, we will find that the predicted camera and the shape are both wrong. 
The head of the template bird is incorrectly deformed to form the wingtip of the instance. To overcome such local minima, we recall our mean motivation, where however the shape of the bird changes, its semantic part stays the same. We first obtain semantic part segmentation on 2D images using the SCOPS method, which is a self-supervised method that takes an image's input and outputs a semantic part segmentation. For example, here for the bird category, the model predicts four semantic parts for each bird. These parts are consistent across different instances in the dataset. To use these semantic part segmentations, we propose a semantic consistency constraint. For each image, we first use the SCOPS method to obtain a semantic part prediction. We then warp the canonical semantic UV map onto the predicted shape of this bird image and render it using the predicted camera pose. Since the canonical semantic UV map is shared between all instances, if both the shape and the camera pose are correctly reconstructed, the rendered semantic prediction should be consistent with the SCOPS prediction. So we use this consistency loss to constrain our network learning. In practice, we instantiate the semantic consistency constraint into two objectives. In the first one, we first sample a set of points from each semantic part of the SCOPS prediction. We also project each vertex on the template onto 2D images using the predicted camera post. Then we constrain the projected points should be close to the sampled points with the same semantic label. We use vertices on template instead of individual meshes to encourage the network to learn correct camera posts rather than changing the shape to satisfy the constraint. In a second objective, we simply constrain the rendered semantic map to be close to the SCOPS prediction. With the semantic consistency constraint, the model is able to predict both correct camera points and the shape. So when we render the shape with canonical semantic UV map, we can get a semantic rendering that is consistent with the SCOPS prediction. To summarize, we propose a reconstruction model that predicts both instance-specific meshes and the category-specific semantic template using the silhouettes, images, and self-supervisedly learned semantic parts as supervisions. We first show some qualitative results on the bird images. The last two images show that our model also generalizes to paintings. We also train our model on rigid objects like cards or model bags. And non rigid objects like zebra, horses, and cows. We show quantitative evaluation on the CUB bird dataset. We evaluate both the learned texture flow and the camera using the key point transfer task. We first show how to use the predicted texture flow for key point transfer. Given the ground truth key point in the source image, we first convert each key point to a heat map and using the predicted texture flow to map the key point to a face on the template. We then use the predicted texture flow for the target image to sample a standard grid, which maps all points on the target image to faces on the template. So the key point in the source image is transferred to the location in the target image that has been mapped to the same face on the template. Here we show some key point transfer results. To evaluate the camera pose using the key point transfer task, we first project the vertices of the template using both the predicted camera for the source and target image. Then for a key point and source image, we first map it to a vertex on the template with a projection nearest to the key point and further map the key point to a pixel in the target image that has been mapped to the same vertex on the template. We show some key point transfer results here. We also compare the render silhouettes with ground truth silhouettes using the intersection over union metrics. All quantitative evaluations show that our method performs better than other state-of-the-art methods. Thank you for watching.